I want to show you something. Jeffrey Hinton, physics Nobel Prize winner and Turing Award winner, so kind of the Nobel Prize of computing, has widely been one of the biggest voices about the existential risk of AI. But he recently has changed his tune. Let's take a look. More optimistic than I was a few weeks ago. Really? Yes. And it's because I think there is a way that we can coexist with things that are smarter and more powerful than ourselves that we built. Because we're building them, as well as making them very intelligent, we can try and build in something like a maternal instinct. So, like I said earlier, the only example I know of a much more intelligent thing being controlled by a much less intelligent thing is a baby controlling a mother. And the baby can control the mother because of a lot of things that evolution wired into the mother. The mother can't bear the baby crying. The mother really, really, really wants that baby to succeed and will do more or less anything she can to make sure her baby succeeds. We want AI to be like that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you don't know me, I'm Harper. I'm a computer scientist studying AI for the last decade. And I'm here to make AI clear and hype-free and accessible to all and to bring the truth because there's a lot of misinfo out there. And so if you're interested, send this to someone you care about, share the fact that we have less to be afraid of, and also give me a follow if you want to learn more. The last thing I'll say here is that AI is so much more than large language models, these chatbot models like ChatGPT. AI is an optimizer across numbers. And if we apply optimizers to every industry of life, we can just make the world so much better. And so that's what I'm excited about. That's what my mission is. And I'm glad you're here.